Hello, my name is Jeremiah Reed. I'm the author of Mental Wealth and the owner of Mental Wealth LLC. Today I want to bring you a short mini series called Love and Money. I'm with my brother BJ. He's the leader of mental wealth when it comes to understanding relationships. Because I know when it comes to being wealthy, money is just only one part of that equation. So today we're going to dive deep into a subject called alignment. And I can't wait for you to take a little bit of notes and really break this down and use this in your everyday life. Yeah, yeah. So, man, that's that's crucial. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> money and relationships, alignment, you know, instantly I think of the word trust and commitment, you know, instantly I think of the word submission, you know, and ultimately we first think of woman uh -huh. with that, but we're talking about submission from the man and the woman as it relates to this these finances, man. And so I, I want to read a verse uh, for those who may or may not be religious. This verse really is key, you know, because it, it, it talks about the, 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 the author of the relationship, right? Mm -hmm. The one who created alignment in relationships. But then it also talks about kind of the, the, the principle that's going to allow them to be in alignment. All right. So I'm going to read it. It says this. It reads this way. It says, and he answered and said, have you not read that he who created them from the beginning made them male and female? And said, for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife. And the two shall, shall become one flesh. All right. So that the key thing is the two become one. Mm -hmm. A lot of people kind of miss that. They just they just think, no, you need to leave your mama. And it creates all kind of drama yeah. right? in that conversation. But ultimately, yeah. it's talking about literally like the idea where uh, you are two individuals. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, the man left his home and a woman had joined it into a new family from her home. And so you get uh, where there's no longer two, but there's one. Uh, and it says, but one flesh uh, now lives. So what therefore God has joined together, let no man take apart. Uh, and I like that because, in other words, when two people are aligned and you think in finances, you know, uh, they, they're going to win with money. Mm -hmm. Right. They're going to win with money naturally because it literally says when two people uh, come join together and they become one flesh, uh, they win in a relationship. All right. So as we talk about alignment, the important piece in this relationship of money is the truth where two people have to be on the same accord, man. Yeah, definitely. So when I'm coaching people through money, um, I get people, whether they're married or not married, mm -hmm. um, separate accounts, joint accounts. I really try to get them into one account because mm -hmm. I've seen and I studied when the money goes into one pot and both people agree on the direction of every dollar. Mm -hmm. They just flow in a different way. Yep. Um, whenever there's multiple accounts, that's easier to mismanage or build mistrust mm -hmm. because you might get a secret account that the other person never knew about. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> um, or the person says, hey, you know, I'm going to run this account, you run yours, and yeah. then that person don't manage that. And then now the whole household is in disarray. Yeah. So that alignment is really important to me when it comes to money. Um, just from your perspective, I want to talk about what happens when a person um, isn't aligned and they don't want to be aligned. What's kind of the drawback of that? <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, there's a huge drawback. Yeah. You know, I, I think you said some key things there. You said um, two people come together. We're just talking about they become one. Whether mm -hmm. they want to or not, they become one. Mm -hmm. um, but then when it comes to finances, they, they compartmentalize that, that relationship. It's like, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, we won. We're a team for a lifetime to death do us part. Woo, woo, woo. You know, yeah. and they get excited about that idea. Right. But then when it comes to our finances, it, it becomes scary for them. Mm -hmm. Right. To talk to talk and tell your spouse, hey, we're bringing our money together. Mm -hmm. You know, then the question is, who's going to lead it? Who's going to be in charge of it? Right. You know, how much do we get to spend? How much do I get to spend personally? I work hard for my money. Mm -hmm. You know, um, how can you tell me what I can and cannot do? financially and so it's a lot of things that come into that and so the first thing i think about is this you know you ask me okay how do you handle that what do you do well i instantly want people to think about again going right back to the principal uh, mm -hmm. perspective of money right mm -hmm. who money is it mm -hmm. right yes you earn the money you work right. for it, but we created beans bro yeah and that, that's what i know we created beans to god right so instantly yeah. that's what i think about yeah dang man i'm a manager of this mm -hmm. right i was managing as a single man my wife was managing as a single woman. Now we're coming together and we're not one. And so what do we need to do? Manage it. <laughs> manage it. Yeah. Right? If we're one, we need to yeah. manage it. So, so, it's, so I think that's a no-brainer. Should we put our accounts together or should we keep them apart? You can keep them apart. 
And some people, it can function. So it's not, you have to do it that way. But if you think about alignment, right, and yeah. you think about the best money flow mm -hmm. to make sure that you guys are connected and, and, and kind of working together, it just makes things way easier to work out of one account versus multiple accounts, yeah. three accounts, you know, and, you know, trying to operate and, 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 and figure out where money is and where it's going. It's just so many mistakes can come. And then at yeah. that point, man, it, it creeps in a lot of issues and, you know, and somebody may do something over here in this account and you didn't look at it. You know, and then you realize and you think, you know, money is gone and creates arguments. Yeah. So it's, it's just a, a big it's problem. so much that goes yeah. into it, man. And, and so in a jokingly way, I always tell people, uh, do you sleep in the same bed or a different bed? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> and That's funny. obviously, they say we sleep <laughs> together. Like, what? what are you talking about? And I said, if you do if you respect that person enough to share your body with them, like, where, where is that level of respect when it comes to sharing your money? That's deep. And people miss it. And, yeah. that's, and that's what that verse is, too. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to go there, but hey, hey when two become one, that's what hey. they're talking about. You no, know, it's literally. Cool, man, we're going to uh, definitely tell the truth here. So you definitely hit on some good points. Um, as we close up this mini version of segment one on alignment, is there any like lasting thing you want to leave to the people? Um, you know, I, the, the thing I want to leave with the people, um, Communication, you know, and, and I know that's a cliche word. You just got to communicate. Just got to communicate. But ultimately, you just got to communicate. You got to you got to have conversations. And it's not a one time conversation. It's not a one time plan. You literally have a conversation, come up with a plan. And then as you work that plan, when you see there's kinks, when you see there there's a, a, a breach in the plan, you go back to the drawing board, say, hey, I thought it was going to work. I realized like, hey, you know, our allowance is only fifty dollars a piece. I actually need more because most of the things I do requires this. Or maybe you're the wife and you knew you actually groom yourself a lot more than other women. Getting your nails done, feet done, hair done, depending on your strategy and your your financial goals, mm -hmm. you may have to give your wife a little bit more, right? And so yeah. I, I'll say communication is key. Communication is key when you're talking about money. Communication mm -hmm. is key when you're talking about alignment, right? And you just got to be honest as you communicate, yeah. right? And you got to be raw. And so that's what I'll leave. No. Good stuff. Um, the last part I would just say is whenever I sit down with people, we go over purpose. Mm -hmm. I think when you don't know your purpose or the direction that you want your family to go in or your relationship to go in, it's hard to be aligned. And once you figure out that purpose, then you begin to assign the roles. Mm -hmm. Everyone can't be the leader on the ship. Somebody needs to be the leader in one season. Maybe they might not be the leader in the next season. But that's an open conversation going back to communication that you two need to have in order to be in perfect alignment with your money. So thank you for tuning in um, to Love and Money presented to you by Mental Wealth. Um, look out for our next series talking about accountability. Peace.